Hi friends, in the last video, we have understood how to convert a decimal number into a binary number by using two basic methods. One is a successive division method, second one is successive multiplication method. Now in this class, we'll just see one more conversion which is from decimal number system to octal number system. So decimal to octal conversion, we will understand in this class. With the help of uh, some numericals, we can understand it. Okay. So let us see the first problem. First problem is we need to convert the number 1032. 1032 is the decimal number. I need to convert it into an octal number with the base 8. So first of all, we need to understand whether this number contains fractional part or it contains only integral part. So it contains only integral part, which is 1032. So this is only integral part. So when you have only integral part in a given uh, decimal number, it is very easy. Just we need to apply successive division method until the quotient is uh, less than 8. Because I want to convert the decimal number into octal number and the octal number has the base 8, I need to perform successive division with the number 8. Okay. So if you divide 10 with 8, 8 once is 8 and remaining 2, you will have 23, 8 uh, twos 16 and uh, 23 minus 16 is 7. 72 you left and 8 ninths is 72 so the remainder is 0 and again doing the division of 129 with 8 again 8 ones 8 you left with 4 and you will have 49 8 6 48 and the remainder is 1 next when you want to divide 16 with 8 8 2 16 and the remainder is 0. You cannot move further because this is uh, this quotient is uh, less than 8. And in which direction I need to move? I need to move from last quotient to first remainder in a direction from last quotient to first remainder in order to find its equivalent octal value. So the equivalent octal number for the decimal number 1032 is uh, Two zero one zero. This is the equivalent octal number. Okay. Let us quickly move to the second problem. And this problem contains both the integral part as well as fractional part. So the decimal number which I am considering is one zero three two point six eight seven five. This is the decimal number. I just need to convert it into an octal number with base 8. So what is 1032? This 1032 is nothing but integral part. And this uh, 0.6875 is nothing but fractional part. Fractional part. We need to uh, treat integral part and fractional part separately and perform successive division method for integral part and successive multiplication method for fractional part. We have done it already and we have seen that its equivalent by uh, octal value is a 2010. So I don't want to convert it again. Okay, already it is available there. Now we want to see the fractional part. Fractional part is 0. 6875 and we need to multiply first this with the base which we need to convert into which we need to convert so it is 8 so 0 0.6875 into 8 is 5.5 0 0.6875 into 8 is 5.5 what is the integral part 5 so I am writing 5 separately 
and uh, the remaining number is 0 0.5 and you need to multiply this with again 8 so 0 0.5 into 8 it is 4.0 so if you write 4 separately and you left with the 0 0 into anything is 0 so i am stopping it here okay let me stop here i'm stopping it here now for uh, converting fractional part into uh, octal number i need to move in which direction in forward direction okay now you left with it is uh, it is nothing but 0 0.54 0 0.54 hence the equivalent uh, octal number for the decimal number 1032.6875 is 0 0.54 octal number okay sorry i made a mistake here So 1032 for this decimal number the equivalent octal number is 2010.54 okay let us see two more problems let us see the third problem the third problem let us see first uh, with without uh, fractional part it is 172 so this is the decimal number i need to convert it into an octal number base 8 okay so this number contains only integral part this number contains only integral part so i need to perform successive division method so perform successive division method with 8 so 8 to 16 and you left with 1 1 2 so you you have 12 8 ones 8 the remainder is 4 is it right or not next 8 uh, to 16 and the remainder is 5 so the equivalent uh, octal number for uh, 172 is 254 the equivalent octal number for the decimal number 172 is 254 now let us see one more problem quickly which contains both integral part and uh, fractional part right so 172.5 Six two five one hundred and seventy two point six two five. This is the decimal number, and I want to convert this into octal number. Okay, so this is the integral part. So, in order to convert the integral part into its equivalent octal number, we need to perform successive division method, and we have already performed it and evaluated its value as the two five four. And this is the fractional part. In order to uh, convert the fractional part into its equivalent octal number, we need to perform successive multiplication method. And we will do it now. Okay. So 0 0.625 multiplied with 8. Okay. So 0 0.625 into 8 is equal to. So please uh, evaluate along with me. 0 0.625 into 8 is uh, 5.0. Right. Now, if you 
write five separately and you left with the zero zero point zero uh, if you multiply any number with this zero point zero you will get zero value hence i am erasing this i am stopping here itself because i got uh, uh, value or the first digit itself hence zero point uh, for the 0 0.625 fractional part the equivalent uh, octal number is 0 0.5 right now combining these two you can write the equivalent octal number for the decimal number 172.625 as 254.5 254.5 okay now let us take uh, some more time just uh, two to three minutes of time in order to verify our answer okay so this is a conversion from decimal to octal by using octal to decimal conversion method we'll check whether our answer which is 254.5 is correct or not we are just verifying it okay so 254 is the integral part so you need to write 2 5 4 separately multiply the lsb which is 4 which uh, with uh, 8 power 0 plus multiply 5 with uh, 8 power 1 plus multiply 2 with 8 square plus this is for only one digit after the decimal point Hence, I need to multiply 5 with 8 power minus 1. Just find this value. Okay. So, 8 square is 64. 64 into 2 is 128. 8 power 1 is 8. 8 into 5 is uh, 40. 8 power 0 is 1. 1 into 4, 4. Plus 5 by 8. Let me find 5 by 8 value. 5 by 8 value is uh, 0. 6 to 5 because 5 into 8 power minus 1 can be written as 5 by 8 5 by 8 value is 0 0.625 if you add all these numbers 128 plus 40 plus 4 plus 0 0.625 gives you the answer 172.625 okay in this way we can convert any decimal number into octal number and we can verify the answer whether the obtained octal number is correct or not okay so with the help of these four simple numericals i hope uh, you have understood how to convert a decimal number into octal number clearly okay. so i want to finish here i want to stop here so thank you very much for listening to this video if you really like this video please share and subscribe to my channel